<laughs> Hi and welcome back to Finders Beepers History Seekers and today you find us in a bush. So we're just waiting at the moment for a train to go by behind us. Um, we're just behind um, the old Bass Maltins um, old building. You can't go in the front well you can go in the front way but we've just seen a big fat security guard sat in a big fat security car so we're not going that way we're going around the back um, but it does mean walking along the edge of a train line which yeah, and full of brambles and undergrowth yeah. and so it's near the Sherpa. Oh, is it coming? I can hear it. What the fuck? What the fuck just ran out of there? It was massive. That's a lion. Yeah, fucking. We've got what lions. The fuck. Lions in Sleaford. That weren't a, a rabbit. What the hell were it? A fox. A bear. A monkey. <laughs> <laughs> Wildebeest. Yes. So, I'm just waiting for this train to go. I don't know if you can hear it coming. It's there. Oh, oh, oh. Right, there we go. Hey, there we go. There we go. There we go. There we go. So, yeah, Typical. we're going to get out onto the uh, next set of tracks now and get quickly, like quickly down there. See you in a minute. Christ, this is not easy at all. So, no. always make sure you, <laughs> you, you've been caught. Ah. Not by security, but by it's like, brambles. They are the triffids. <laughs> Go on then, quick, before any more trains come. I don't want to get, oh, fuck a dog. I don't want to get run over. It's a bit of a stupid thing to do, but. <laughs> And to trip over as well. Okay, now. So, yeah, you can just see in the distance on the right hand side the back of the Bass Mountain. So, I'm going to head there now quickly. Oh, you fucker. Careful of them spikes. <sighs> Not a spikes, I'm worried about. What are you worried about? Just in the knee. Oh. It's all kneeling. Oh. Jesus. Almost went then. <sighs> Careful. So that was quite lucky, but we might still not be able to get in. We have been having a bit of a nightmare so far. We are around. We've got to be careful because it's quite open here. Same security guard you saw. Just go. I don't know if it's any easier or not around this side, but at least it's an extra option for us. So I'll have a try. See if we can get in. Right, so we finally got past the first set of fences. It's not as easy as just walking in here. We've got absolutely loads of small offences to contend with now so I'm gonna leave you there again and we'll have a go but look at this place just while we're walking past look how cool is this place really amazing so this is the only opening we've seen so far and there's no way I'm getting through there even Andy's not getting through there it does appear to be Something inside it on the floor there, I don't know what it is. Now, this is the old bass maltings, but I've just noticed this. So, not quite sure what that's all about, to be fair. Because it's, uh, I don't know, if you don't know, the maltings, it's to, to do with the production of beer, as in Shandy Bass. Um, but I'm just making my way up. 
we've got to be careful because there is a security guard and apparently a guard dog so we've got to be very very careful but look at the old cobbles and the, the lines the track lines for the railway cart type things i don't know if i thought he'd found somewhere in there this is me i think i'm getting up there no. oh actually i thought this one oh uh, I had probably a big drop at the other side to be fair that as well. Alright, let's keep going. Right, so we're uh, we're now next level. We've got past the second defence line and we're in where the buildings are. Now we're hoping. Andy, have you looked in here? Yeah, have you looked where it goes to? Right, so I'm going to have a quick look. We've come to where the fire damage is, hoping that we can get in, but now I can't find my torch, which is not good. Oh, here we go again. I'm just going to have a look. Right, so we've got the torch. I wish I brought the GoPro now. I always end up doing this. So there is tunnels, but how far they go, <coughs> if they lead to a, oh no, it looks to be bricked up, although there is a way around the corner up here. I'm going to put my torch up there for now. It gives me a little bit more chance of being able to climb rapidly. Okay. So we've got dead pigeons around here. One thing I will say is, and his knee isn't going to do very well here, I don't think, even if he can get through. And you know what, it sounds very hollow, so I don't think, I think they're blocked up. Yeah, they appear to be blocked up. So we'll make our way back out again. Nightmare. Right, let's try and go and find somewhere else now. Fucking hell. Really are struggling to get in this one this time, guys. One of our uh, subscribers, Robbie Bradshaw, hello, uh, told us that he came here recently and couldn't get in. So that sort of set a challenge for us. Look at that. As you can see, this is the burnt out section. But I don't know if we can get from section to section. I hope we can, because I don't just want to see burnt, burnt things. Pretty cool. I'm just gonna. Come through it, I am out of breath, I'm sorry. I'm out of breath and I've got to be quiet because that security guard will just be around the front of there. So I'm going to go this way, which I, I think Andy must have gone. Now look, look up here. What have we got here? Some ladders on the side of there. Look at that chimney. I can hear Andy talking. So he must be doing a bit of filming. Oh, it's over there. So at least we can get from area to area. But it doesn't sound like he's found a way in either. That's pretty impressive though, up there. Right, come back to you in a minute. So we've just made our way further down here. There's lots and lots of little bits that at first you think you can get in and you can't. Look at this one up here. Now I've got to be very careful because down the other end of here is where the security guard sits in his car. I just want to show you. Jesus, geese. It's got the shite out of me. But yeah, I uh, thought I could get in here. But, oh yeah, we can push that out of the way, but look. It's absolutely caved in, it's fucked. So we might even have to come back out of this section, climb back over the fence and go in somewhere else. Right. Let's have a look. Andy. Not 
I can't get it in, but it's a big empty room. So pretty cool in there, but once again, just a massive empty room. I thought I might want to get somewhere this way, but obviously not. I wouldn't trust going on that roof. I can see through there it's pretty bad. No roof oh yeah, there's no roof on that one. Oh god. So yeah, I'm stood on top of lots of crap at the moment. What would it be without me climbing up something? Well, we're out and about. Let's put you behind the bars and I can rest my arm. Oh, it's anti-climb paint all over this. That's not, that's not good. Oh god. We're getting towards the top, I'm guessing it's some sort of little water tower this. But it might give me a good view from the top. I'm very hot, very sweaty. Right, I'm gonna give you a bit of a, a view round where I am. I'm very wet and sweaty today, aren't I? It's not good at all. So let's have a look round where we are. Right, so like I said, the bass molting buildings, a lot of these have been burnt out. You can just see the timbers up on there, look. I'm not standing on top because there's big holes in this metal. But if you have a look round, first of all, we've got a big, big building there, very, very tall. And then this bad boy, look at the size of that. Jesus Christ, if there was a way of climbing that, I would have a go but there's no ladders or anything up there. So Andy is down there somewhere. I can hear him talking a minute ago. I'm right in front of the building now. As you can see, down the gates, but most disgusting looking swimming pool I've ever seen. Let's have a quick look around the corner. There's some old working floodlights there. Right, so we're right, right, right at the front. So we have to be very, very careful just in case anybody is driving about, but there's nobody about, to be honest with you. Uh, we saw the security guard, he, were, he drove down here to the end, and obviously back again. But um, as you can see, this is an absolute massive, massive building. You've got paddly vegetables there, however they used to be. Right, so I wish we could get in. A, if you can know, that's a look. Massive, massive chimney up there as well. But you know, it's looking to no avail, to be honest with you. I don't seem to think we could actually get in. We've been round about two or three buildings now, and there don't seem to be any, any way in. Uh, a lot of it is burnt out, a lot of it is falling to bits and falling through. Um, but just, like I said, you just know we can't see any way in at the minute. But we're going to give it a little bit longer. Let's see how we go and see if we can get in like there's all these windows which are open but they've took the drain pipes away so you can't climb up them to get in and whatever drain pipes are there like that one is covered in anti-climb paint so it is very very difficult to get in and that's uh, on that roof they've boarded that one up as well so they've made it as difficult as possible for us to get in and almost virtually impossible at the minute but we haven't given us yet, so I'll catch you in a bit. But these look, these are totally burnt out behind us. So, at the moment I'm at the top of a massive water tank. I'm trying to show you, it's not that high. It's high enough. Um, and we're gonna make our way back through, hopefully, about three or four blocks that way where we can get inside. There's some amazing stairs somewhere in this place. I'm hoping we can find them because it's a, an amazing photo opportunity. It's one of the best set of stairs I've seen. So, uh, yeah, just thought I'd give you a bit of a better view so you weren't looking through all the bushes and trees at what's around us. There we go. See you in a minute. Right, so I'm back down now. Look, that's where uh, whatever it was that was in this would have been drained out. You've got your measurements, look, up the side, right up there. Oh, and I've worked out what it was. It was the, uh, the well-known beer ingredient of cunt that was kept inside this, this barrel. So obviously when you were wanting to drink your, uh, your beer, 
and you wanted to get your mouth around uh, a fresh pint of cunt then that's that's where you would come um right so heading back through trying to find andy pande and getting attacked by bushes trees and all sorts while i'm doing it so once again oh he's here look i found him he's making friends with the local pigeons where, because he feels uh, safe with them look at him Somebody with a dodgy leg and a dog, dodgy ah. shoulder, that's too bad, don't You're not doing too bad, you'll do better than I will, I know that. So yeah, that's uh, that's the second time we've been over one of these fences, because last time we couldn't get through, so let's, uh, let's quickly try again. Right, so we're uh, over fence number three of the day, and we appear to be in... Ah! I've just scalped myself. You fucking whore. Ah, can't move. Ah, ah. ah. Right, I'll put that bit in. Oh, here we go. And he's found a nice pigeon shit hole for us to get in. Oh, fuck. Oh, I've just ripped my head off. Full of pigeon shit as well, Is it? So quick in, up as fast as we can. So I think you're only talking this one building. Yeah, but it depends if we can get up across that. Yeah. I'll have to have a look. Looks pretty solid from here, that actually. No, it's just one room here. Is there no way through from that room? No. There's gotta be. Just get in. Surely we've got to be able to get across somehow and up there. Yeah. What you can see in here is just absolutely full of pigeon shit. Look at this. It's pigeon shit heaven. Literally, we've only got one room. No idea. That's sealed off door. Oh, fuck. Oh. Yeah. That's a bit ain't it? It's going to be some sort of storage room, this, isn't it? Just that's yeah. it. Well, there's. You see, not, not a great deal on there. That's a coffin for the 17 foot long man. <laughs> Is it the, um, it's oh, no. that tall bloke. Look, that's the original floor. You can see the difference between the actual floor and the shit. And the pigeon shit floor. How oh, gutted that I got in and then. Uh, not been able to do any quick any further. Have we left any post? Yeah. Wow. It's a bit of a disappointment, but... It is. At least I can go for a piss in the dry. If you're having dry piss, there's something wrong with you. <laughs> but it's literally... It's foggy in here as well, isn't it? Yeah. Really misty in here. And we got through that way. Oh, we can go out that way. But there's doors up there, but there's no way of getting up. So you never know. Further down the building, you might be able to. Um, might just be a room. Don't keep telling people that us being, being alone. <laughs> right, let's go and try and get in somewhere else. Right, we've just got into that building through there. Well, through there. Got out through there, and as I've come out of there, then there's a little doorway into this one. Not sure whether this will be any different. But 
that is just doing that now. So I'm going to go in, have a look. Get my leg in. Right, this looks weird. All these sheets are about it hanging up. What I'm going to do. Get my little torch out so I can shine a bit of light on this. You can see that, not much difference. But again, full of pigeon shit, but there's all these sheets or something hanging up. Loads and loads of sheets. God knows what they were for. But at least we've got a room in here as well. So I'm just going to have a quick look in this room. See what I can find. But at least a little bit more to this one than across the road. Still full of dead pigeons. Alarm bell. Wow, get that cob out, we've got to wrap the fall with you. It's all just falling and caved in, it's just absolutely solid, you can hear it dripping on the roof, on that plastic. And polystyrene tiles as well. So I'm just going to have a, a quick nab, sacks of something. Ooh, spooky, spooky. Funky wallpaper. I don't know what this is. It's quite, um, probably set concrete, that. I'm just going to have a quick look in these ones. Toilet. And probably a little office. With some, again, funky, funky wallpaper. As you can see, it's all completely sodden. Well and truly, that's the room I've just been in. It's a bit, a bit dodge, a bit dodge city. And if this side, door out there, I doubt if you'd be able to get out of there. And toilet, as usual. Right, and that's just getting in. As you can see, but there you go. Yeah, so that's where we need to be up there, look. To be able to get across that, and you can go from building to building. Obviously further up, like I said, it's it's all burnt down, but but we can't find every, every door we've been through so far. There, there's no way of getting upstairs. So, I just, I'm a bit stumped. I, I have no idea. Flummoxed. I, I don't understand. There's got to be a way, there's got to be a way of getting up. I just wonder if it's where that is there, where that balcony bit is. I'll have to go and have a look and see what we can see up there. Look how easily he makes it look, how easy he makes it look. And then I'll pass my phone to Andy. And then let's see how easy it is for me. I don't know which foot to start on, I never do. So we'll go this one here. It's tongue there, as I'm doing it. Tongue? Tongue. Not, no, no, tongue, boys. Tongue, tongue. Tongue. Um, in the things down below, is it tongue or is it tongue? If you think it's tongue, write it as T U N G. If you think it's tongue, Write it as it's spelt normally, if you can spell it. T O N G. No, that's for your hair, you silly boy. I won't know about that, but. Well, no. Oh. Oh. Jesus Christ. Now, here we go again, trying to do it this way. I fall backwards. I'm going to do the like and girl. You're not, because I'll have a broken back again. Now where do I go? He's like a little ballerina in mid-air with his pointy toe. Oh, my bit's falling out. Maybe I'm foolish. 
<laughs> That's copyright done there straight away. Turn it off for quickly. So yeah, another failed attempt. Not even well recently, we've had a lot of injuries. Andy's on his phone. Um, I think he's probably getting in trouble for the amount of time we've been, which I might get the same when I get back. But yeah, we're, uh, we've had some good explorers recently, but we've had a couple of failed missions. And this one, we've actually got inside, but we've not got to the bits that where we wanted. But it's literally fenced down there. We've been over that one, the next one up, the one after that, and it's just boarded up. There's no way of getting in. But what an amazing building. I'm gonna try and get the drone up. You don't understand how warm it is either. I'm absolutely sweating my balls off. So we're gonna head back to the car, like I said. We've not been caught, at least, by the security. We have seen them today, um, but we managed to get to avoid them. But we've still not managed to get in. So it's a shame, really. Lovely place, fantastic place. And there was that those stairs that I really wanted to see, the, um, the spiral staircase. So we're gonna head out now, and we'll see you back at the car in a minute. So there you can see Bass Maltings in the distance. We've just made our way up the train line. And there's the station just up there and the car's just behind there. So we're gonna head off to the car now. <laughs> 